I'm the audio guy. I demand respect. You know, cafes with trams going past, buses, you name it, aeroplanes. Uh, where else have we been? Noisy rooms, air conditioning, um, all those sorts of challenges. Indoors, outdoors, bathrooms, acoustics, all over the place. From completely soundproof rooms to things that sound like churches. Um, but I think all in all we've, we've made it work. Well, we'll see in a few months anyway, won't we? Uh, crammed in the back seats of the car, including the great lesbian wing. Uh, crammed under tables, trying to hide microphones in all sorts of places. I guess it's lucky that you're uh, small. Very small. So it's many, so it's good. I am the audio assistant. Studied at Deakin University, studying a bit of film and photography. Got recommended to say, come along for a day. Had no idea what I was walking into. The first day, as you'll see in one of Hayden's films, running backwards down a hall, Brenton pulling my neck um, <laughs> to guide me where to go. <laughs> yeah, wasn't the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Had no idea what I was getting into. So we've had them hidden in plants, we've had them in dinner menus, hiding on the edge of tables, gaffered to all sorts of places. Cars, car roofs, car interiors, under the dash mat, all over the place. Through windows. Through windows. In doorways. Yep. Yeah. Everywhere on clothing. Ah, that's a good question. Nothing. A, a Very light. <laughs> Assistant? <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> No, it starts off, you would think, it's deceiving. You look at it and go, yeah, this thing's not that heavy. And then after you've been holding it above your head for two or three minutes, it starts to, I mean, I'm not a big guy by any means. It's really the job for <laughs> somebody else. So, yes, their feet, Hayden. <laughs> um, no, it gets heavy after a while. After the three months, I'll just have a large neck muscle and that's it. Uh, apart from Maddie, <laughs> apart from Maddie, um, the microphones we've had have been great. Rode sponsored us with NTG3 and their lav mics and they've been fantastic. Um, the NTG3 has probably been put through a little bit of hell and it's still standing up. So we've been pretty happy with that and it puts out a great sound and I think everything's been pretty spot on so far. So, And the labs we've been hiding in, as we said, yeah. all over the place so they've been can count on them every time. The labs have been particularly good because often we're doing wide shots and cars driving past and all location problems, yeah? So the labs have been particularly good because when we're doing the, the wide shots, um, often can't quite get the sound as close as we want it just with the boom. So we can hide those in all sorts of sneaky little places and we've had it under hairlines and taped to people's shoulders and all over the place, but they're great. Um, so they sort of fill in the sound that we can't quite get and that's, that's been perfect. I love the labs. They hide in places that we can't reach to. You see Brenton trying to boom in those most awkward situations that he has to hold for about three minutes at a time. You just have a sneaky little lab hidden underneath somewhere. Laughing. Laughing. Make, makes it a lot easier and great quality sound. Uh, one last question. What do you think about the sound of them behind the scenes? <laughs>